It is a St. Louis staple that has stood the testament of time, Forest Park. From the 1800s to today, the massive park has been a place for people to come and enjoy. But as our Leah Hill shows us, the park has seen major upgrades and still has more to come. Parks across the country really saw their heyday in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And then as cities grew up, they didn't have the resources to take care of them. And St. Louis's very own Forest Park was no exception. The World's Fair Pavilion also and the Lindell Pavilion behind me where the visitor center is today, uh, they were crumbling. The stucco was falling off. The roof of the World's Fair Pavilion was literally crumbling. And it wasn't just cosmetic things. It was really the structures themselves were crumbling and starting to fail. Many of the bridges were failing in the park. The Grand Basin was in pretty rough shape too. People are having their prom pictures taken there and the concrete was crumbling. You could see the reinforcing steel sticking out. It was rusting. Years ago, when I was out to University of Missouri, we come out here and sat in front of that fountain and play and it's right down the street, which y'all call now Art Hill. Part of all we were named Art Hill, but back then it was peace and black power and we called it Hippie Hill because everybody's up under there having fun. While people came to the park, most of the time they weren't sticking around. We often hear that it was a place that people didn't feel comfortable coming to because it just looked like it wasn't being taken care of and, and people didn't have that feeling of safety. In 1986, that all started to change. Forest Park Forever was founded as just a scrappy grassroots fundraising organization. People sitting around the kitchen table saying we've got great memories of this place. Let's do something to help the city rebuild it. A master plan was put together that would guide the restoration of the park. We started focusing on the most iconic spots in the park, like the Lindell Pavilion, the World's Fair Pavilion, the Emerson Grand Basin, the Boathouse. $100 million was spent on that initial restoration. And it's not just about the infrastructure, it's about the landscapes as well. We have 190 acres of nature reserves in the park. After the initial restoration, Forest Park Forever stuck around and pledged to help the city take care of the park forever. I think uh, the city of St. Louis is doing a wonderful job with what they're doing with the park. They're updating a lot of stuff. You see this cushion up under my foot? <laughs> they didn't have that deal. <laughs> it was concrete when you fell. <laughs> you got your legs skin up. <laughs> it's the Forest Park story that people around the country are really in awe of. They ask us, how did you do this? We're a model for others around the country. Forest Park has some exciting new developments coming soon. We are super excited that basketball is, is coming to Forest Park. It'll be right behind the visitor center here. We'll break ground on that um, early next year. Forest Park already had their ceremonial groundbreaking. They also plan to turn Steinberg into a year round venue. Whether it is fitness, concerts, markets, we're adding a great water feature and we will be activating that rooftop that was designed to be an observation deck, but it's really never been used for that purpose. Leah Hill, First Alert 4. You can support Forest Park by joining us on December 6th for our annual telethon, A Day for Forest Park. We will be live at the park all day long. So many